guys. The class is starting. This is Jesse Bennett, yoga and Pilates instructor at Lifetime. Lifetime. Lifetime Fit. My yeah. jam. I love my jam. I love that. Aww. Isn't it beautiful? Love my jam. Oh, well, this is our too. gym right here. Good yes, to see this, you. this yes. is our Sunday morning gym. Good I'm morning. so happy to be where with you here. Did Yay. your kids start school? They did start school, and it has been a whirlwind. So this is so perfect today for parents to just have some tools to take care of themselves and connect with their kids. And we all need this anyway, whether we're a parent or not. Right. 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 Okay. So what should we start with? We're just going to start sitting in a nice, comfortable seat. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down a few times and what this allows us to do is just land and turn your gaze inward. Take land. care of your, I just like land. land. Uh -huh. And then just take your left hand and just slide it down your right arm and then your right down your left. And it's just kind of letting go of the day. Simple, right? Symbolic and simple, but it feels I like that. nice. Yes. I like that too. Yeah. Yeah. Let so it go. Soothing. So soothing. And it's just about putting down what we carry all day long. And we'll rub our hands together just like this. Uh -huh. Great for kids and for adults. And then take a big breath in and just let your hands expand. And when you breathe out, let your hands come together. It's like a big beach ball of energy. That's it. And you go okay. big breath in and a big breath out. It's just so good to take care of ourselves and remind ourselves we're doing a good job. You know, I hate to admit this, but sometimes I don't know when to inhale, exhale, and sometimes I'm holding my breath. You know what? The great thing is with breathing, as long as you have a little bit of mindfulness to it, you're doing it right. There is no one way to breathe. And that's why actually these hands really help. They help us. We inhale, we expand. Yeah. We exhale, we come home. Okay. So it's just a nice reminder. And we all have a block in front of us. We can just reach our hand towards the block. And at home, this could be a pillow, a stack of books, but it gives us something to reach for, a little support for our low back and our hips. Mm -hmm. So if you happen to be driving a lot in carpool or to work, it's just a nice way to stretch our low back. Oh, so mm -hmm. nice. It's so nice for That's parents, so especially for back to school, right? Oh my goodness. I, we are back to school and this is very soothing for me just to be here with you. <laughs> is it important to stretch? Um, before you go to sleep? It's wonderful to stretch before you go to sleep. And then you get these wonderful rituals. We'll take the block to the right side and just reach the left arm up and over. Wow. You get these rituals to take care of yourself. You're modeling great behavior for your family and you feel really nice just doing something good for oh. yourself. Oh, man. And then you can switch sides. Okay. The block just gives us something to reach into. It holds us and maybe all day you've been taking care of everyone. This is the moment for you and you deserve it, you're worthy of it. And then come all the way in and kick your right leg forward, keep your left leg in and bring your block with you. It's like treat with your legs, but you get a hamstring stretch. So whether you're Ooh, commuting to work, yeah. doing yes. a bunch of school drop-offs, mm -hmm. our hamstrings are the key to unlock our low back, especially for my pickleball players, yes. right? So it's so nice to just take a few breaths. Oh. And by doing one leg at a time, it's a little less intense. Yeah, you how can I get my brick all the way up there. You just <laughs> <laughs> kind of it forward. Yeah. But you know what? You only have to go as far as you have to go. So it can be right back here with your heart leading forward and you will feel plenty. And then come up and we'll just simply switch. Okay. It's just nice to have a buddy. It's yes. like your little yoga buddy. And if you I do like this, that. if parents do this, hopefully your kids will join in. They'll get curious mm -hmm. and you're taking care of yourself and modeling how they can start taking care of themselves as well. Excellent. Yes, it's so nice. I just nice. think doing it with your kids will intimidate you because they can just flop <laughs> exactly. down, right? <laughs> kids are very They're so bendy. limber. <laughs> they are so limber. Now, you also have your book. I do. I've written um, four children's books. I'm on my fifth right now. And Aww. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And in the back of my first one, we can stretch while we, while we talk about Yeah, here's the yoga house. This was my first book. And in the back, the, the way I started writing the book was I wrote this meditation for my kids. And it was a way for them to help wind down and connect with their breath and just calm their busy mind at the end of the day. We all have a busy mind. And it's something even a few years later, I read it every night to my kids. And it's just a way to connect to our breath, each other, and just feel like a nice big hug before they What's go to called? sleep. This one's called the Yoga House. The Yoga House. Yeah. The Yoga House. It is. You have such great energy, by the way. So do you. Do you spend a lot of time alone just to kind of protect your energy? You know what I learned as a mom, because I don't don't get a ton of alone time that when I roll out my mat, whether it's chaotic or peaceful, it's my place to just come home to myself. Mm -hmm. But it, I love my favorite thing in the morning is to wake up at like 5.30 with a cup of coffee and have this kind of practice on the mat, S simple rituals just to take care of myself. So I do like to tap into that nice too. Quiet here. One last yeah. stretch. One last stretch. Left ear, 
left shoulder, right hand, press it away. Just so nice to get that nice stretch for the side of your neck. It's all right. It's all good. I've seen it all. And then we'll switch sides. Okay. Oh, and just remember to keep taking care of yourself. And remember, you're worthy of time to slow down. The hustle yes. starts, you know, and it's just really nice to be like, nope, I can take care of myself for a few minutes. I will be better for everyone that are, that's around me. If I, I love that. I love that. Okay. And one quick you. one for uh, the back. Oh, the back. Yes. Yes. Do you have another quick one for the back? Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to just bring our heart forward just like this, and we're going to stir the pot. Oh, so oh. Who doesn't stir love to stir the pot? It's not feel oh, so okay. good? Ooh. Simple and feel good, and you can just go the other way. <laughs> there are so many things we can do for the low back, and this is a nice way to get into it. And then you can finish off with a stretch towards your block. Stretch towards the block again. Stretch. And then love maybe, it. just maybe, it goes another centimeter forward. Yes. Even though it's yeah. not about what's on the outside, oh. it's how it feels on the inside, there you go. right? There you go. Oh. Yeah. Feels Jesse, thank so you so much good. for being here. Jesse Bennett, thank how you. can people get the book and follow you and all that good stuff? You can find me easily on Instagram. It's just my name, Jesse Bennett, and my books are everywhere. Books are sold online. It's nice and easy to find them. There we go. Gracias. Yeah. Gracias. Thank all you. Right. Thank so you, much. Jesse. All right, we'll be right thank back. You. Hopefully, you've stretched with us. I'll be right back. Oh, so good.